A stereo listed for $350 is on sale for 20% off the list price. The sales tax is 6%. What price does a customer pay for the stereo if she buys it on sale? Well, to solve this problem, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and fill in a grid. Okay, looking at the list price is the total amount, the $350, and 20% off the list, and remember I'm going to always have 2%, which means I know that if I have 20% off, that tells me automatically 80% is left for me to pay. Okay, the 100 will always go here, and then I have to ask myself, which piece do I want? Do I want to know the part I got off, or do I want to know what I paid for it? Well, it says what price will I pay, so I'm not going to use this, and the piece I'm looking for then is my 80% piece. This is a problem that's best done on a calculator. You're going to take the 350 times the 80 and divide by 100. Canceling a zero with a zero and a zero with a zero, 35 times 8, or let's see, about 70 times 4, or 280, then becomes the sale price, which means I'm going to set me up with a brand new 280 that I'm paying. I'm going to have a brand new grid. The 280 then becomes the total for the customer, and I have a 6% tax. And remember, tax is added on to the whole thing. The whole thing is your 100%. So my other piece is that 106 that I will pay. Again, my 100 is here. So what am I looking for? What price will I pay? So I'm not going to use the 6. I'm going to take the 280 times 106 divided by 100. And this one is also best done with a calculator. And after I use my calculator, 280 times the 106 divided by 100, I will get $296.80. So the sale price was the 280. Adding on your 6% tax gives you a $296.80 cost. Stacy just received her annual cost of living raise. She previously earned $1,450 a month. Her new salary is $1,508. What is the rate of increase? So looking at Stacy just receiving her raise, a raise is an interesting problem because it goes over and above what you started with. But again, the first place to start is always with our grid. We have the previously earned is 1,450. Previously earned means that's what it was. That's the original. That's your 100% piece, which means that's the total. Okay, we know then, of course, the 100 goes here. And we know that her new salary is 1508 Okay, so what it is now is going to go up in the top as the part. Notice that the part got bigger than your original amount. Okay, in your percent, this is what you have right now, which also tells us that we can do another percent with actually how much the raise was or how much the increase was. Okay, 
So I can find that just with the numbers I've got. If I subtract the 1,508 minus the 1,450, I'll come up with 58 as being what my raise is. Now, at this point, I need to go back to the problem and say, what are they asking me for? The question, what is the rate of increase? So I know that I am not going to use the, um, what it is now, because I only want what the increase is. And again, then, doing my cross multiplication, I'm going to take the 58 times 100 divided by the 1,450. This is also a problem that can be done on a calculator. Remembering that you do not have to hit equal at the end. You can just punch into your calculator 58 times 100 divided by 1,450, and you will come up with 4, which means you had a 4% increase in her salary. At a playoff game, paid attendance was 39,900. The total attendance was 42,000. What percent of those attending had free tickets? Okay, again, the grid is a good place to start with these problems. What I have is I need to know what the total number. So when I read this problem, I look at both the 39,000 and the 42,000, and I say, which one's all of it and which one's part of it? Of course, the 42,000 then becomes the total because only part of them paid for it, which means, of course, the 39,900 is the part that paid for it, which means the other part that we would look at is those that got in free. This, of course, is your 100. So let's go back once we've got this placed and let's find out what we're looking for. We have, oh, we want to know who had free. So first of all, I'm going to have to find out the number that is free by subtracting. So 42,000 minus 39,900 is 2,100. Those are the free ones, and those are the ones I'm looking for. So I'm not actually going to use those at all for this problem. So again, another problem that's better done on a calculator, the 21,000 times 100, and then divided by the 42,000. Now this one is interesting because it does have quite a few zeros. So I sort of like one zero on the top, one zero on the bottom, canceled. One zero on the top, one zero on the bottom, canceled. Oh, look at that. One zero on the top, one zero on the bottom, canceled. So at that point on your calculator, take the 210 divided by 42, and you will come up with 5, which means 5% of the people attending were free.